joining us. Moving on, SaaS-based governance, risk and compliance platform Scrut Automation has raised $10 million in growth capital from existing investors Lightspeed, Mass Mutual Ventures and India Partners. The company will use the funding to enhance their platform capabilities and incorporate generative AI use cases to reduce the manual effort for risk and compliance teams. With this round, the company has now raised $20.5 million in total uh, venture funding since its inception in 2021. To elaborate on the road ahead, joining me now is Scrat Automation's co-founder and CEO, Ayush Ghosh Chaudhary. Ayush, welcome to Startup Street. You help tech-first mid-market companies build, manage and maintain enterprise-grade risk and compliance programs. First, tell us, how are you doing this? Take us through your solutions and how are you eliminating the need for multiple legacy platforms and spreadsheets, especially in highly regulated industries, Ayush? Well, thanks for the question and glad to be here. So Scrut essentially, as you mentioned rightly, is a governance risk and compliance platform that acts as a system of record for all artifacts uh, that a company has related to compliance and risk management. That could mean policies, evidence artifacts, vendor risk assessments, uh, employee risk. And given that it's, it acts as a system of record, all of this information is actually aggregated in one platform. Uh, therefore, companies don't have to deal with multiple disparate sources of information. And Scrut also integrates with the sources of these, this information. So a lot of this information actually gets collected automatically. So there is no manual effort involved in people having to upload uh, multiple files in, a, okay. in, in dry folders or having to maintain multiple top files. All right. Uh, but Ayush, we are also seeing a rapidly evolving threat landscape, you know, that's accelerated by the adoption of Gen AI, massive layoffs in cybersecurity teams, uh, increasing skill gap in cybersecurity are some of the other challenges faced yeah. by companies today. You claim that Scrat Automation provides a third option for companies that seek to build stable GRSE programs aligned with the organization's goals, risk and resources. If you could explain the first two app options and how is the third option more viable? Well, traditionally, the way uh, so GRC as a category has traditionally been a large enterprise play. But off late, uh, as you rightly pointed out, small and mid-market mid companies also have been exposed to the kind of threats uh, that uh, that traditionally large companies have been exposed to. And the problem with uh, with that is small and mid-market companies often, for, for them, the threats become existential. So GRC as a category, as a problem statement, has become very important for these companies. Now, legacy enterprise-grade tools don't typically work for mid-market companies because they need something which is quicker, uh, more DIY, easy to deploy, it doesn't need a six month long implementation cycle. And that's where Scrat comes in and fills the gap. Now, in terms of the way uh, Scrat gets implemented, it, it fills both the knowledge gap because the platform has multiple DIY capabilities. You can actually spin mm -hmm. up a Scrat instance and get it, uh, get it live in less than two weeks. And it also integrates with multiple sources of information so that you don't have to manually keep track of uh, your controls on a continuous basis in a point in time manner. Okay, so Scrat Automation basically provides complete visibility into organizational risk. It reduces compliance workloads and simplifies audits as well. Uh, Ayush, again, if you could take us through your business growth numbers and the current reach. Well, uh, we've since inception, we've grown at more than 300% year on year. Uh, North America contributes about 40%. About North America and Europe combined contribute about 40% of our total revenue right now. Uh, the outlook for the for the coming year also looks good. Uh, so despite a generally bearish environment for software sales, we've continued to accelerate quarter on quarter. Uh, our margins look good. We've been very capital efficient and we intend to continue that going forward. All right, let's now talk about the fundraise. I believe the fresh funds will be used to bolster platform capabilities. Uh, you plan to integrate generative AI applications to streamline manual tasks for risk and compliance teams. If you could explain this and also elaborate on the new offerings in the pipeline and if you could also share timelines. Well, there are three core capabilities that we're actually doubling down on that also serve as differentiators for us. One is uh, we, we like to think of ourselves as a risk-first compliance platform because we place a lot of emphasis on precipitating the company's risks first. And that's especially important for companies operating in regulated industries. So we're deepening our capabilities there. We're expanding the sources of integration and the extent to which we can automatically precipitate risks in the customer's environment. Uh, the second capability that we're investing very heavily on is collaboration because GRC, as we see it, is a team sport, especially for mid-market companies that operate smaller teams with lower budgets. So how do you frictionless, very frictionlessly enable that collaboration between multiple teams? And that's something that uh, we've, we've managed to do well uh, over the last uh, some time and we can, we'll continue to go deeper into that. And you mentioned the Gen, the Gen AI capabilities. 
specifically uh, what what we are trying to address through those capabilities which we've been piloting for some time and we'll, they'll be out very soon in the next couple of quarters for commercial use uh, is is to bridge the knowledge gap because oftentimes mid market companies have smaller teams and they don't have the kind of in house expertise that large enterprises would typically have and they also don't have the budgets to hire expensive consultants so to that extent uh, we are using gen ai extensively to to bridge that knowledge gap okay. make it very easy for people to understand best practices and make sure their policies mm. are in order with the latest regulations all right you know ayush you mentioned you are already present in the north american and european markets and you're now looking to further expand in these markets uh, so talk to us about your global playbook and what is the kind of demand you're seeing in these markets well we started our uh, north america go to market uh, less than a year ago and it's already scaled to it's con contributes to about 40% of our revenue today uh, demand continues to be strong as a category we've been uh, we've been relatively insulated from the bearish uh, environment for software sales and we've continued to accelerate quarter on quarter so uh, for over the next 12 months we expect our north america business to grow four times of what it is right now okay uh, and yeah and we do continue to see strong pull from india as well given the Mm. general regulatory urgency especially for financial services companies uh, in having to comply with multiple regulations sure uh, you know ayush if you could also take me through your future revenue targets and what is the road to profitability looking like well uh, as i said i mean we've grown 300% year on year and uh, we'll continue to uh, continue the momentum especially the north america business which is expected to be become 4x of what it is right now uh in terms of profitability so we maintain very healthy gross margins we've been very capital efficient we maintain top quartile capital efficiency uh but we will continue to invest invest in our growth uh we do not intend to be packed positive in the next few quarters uh but we'll maintain very uh, very healthy okay. gross margins in rural property all right one final question ayush and you know we've been discussing this but given the increase in the number of breaches and attacks over the past few years as well as increase in regulatory compliance requirements uh, mid size enterprises are now adopting strong governance risk and compliance practices so clearly there's a lot of potential for you to grow but how do you plan to grab a bigger share of this market well the differentiating capabilities for us have been around risk management and so we we like to think of ourselves as a risk risk first compliance platform and the the kind of companies that really value this proposition are mid market companies operating in regulated industries like financial services healthcare and and enterprise software uh, across all geographies and that will continue to be our focus we will remain extremely focused on on serving this group uh, this this kind of companies contribute to more than 75% of our current revenue right now okay. uh, so the capabilities that we mentioned that we're doubling down on are essentially uh helping us uh, focus on this we continue to face very strong inbound demand okay. uh, more than 50% of our demand continues to be inbound so all right it's time for me to wrap up our conversation but many thanks ayush for joining us on startup street and wish you the very best for all your aggressive growth plans thanks ayush